G'day folks and welcome back to Bex Basics. Now one of the most popular plants for people to grow in their food garden is strawberries and understandably so. Who doesn't love to go out to their garden and pick strawberries straight off the plant and just eat them beautiful sweet red strawberries. Kids love growing them, they're easy to grow, they take up hardly any space, they're just a really fantastic addition to your food garden. But one of the most common questions we get is why aren't my strawberries producing any fruit or producing very much fruit? So today we're going to talk about five things that can affect how much fruit you get on your strawberries, but also five very easy ways to rectify those, those issues that you can have. So we're going to talk about th that today so that you can have a fantastic crop of strawberries in your garden. Now one of the first issues is overcrowding. Now this is the pot that I've had strawberries plants growing in for a few years now and as you can see as I sort of start to pull back the leaves that there are lots and lots of plants in this in this pot. They've spread out over time, they've grown bigger and so now I've probably got too many strawberries in this pot. Strawberries should be, strawberry plants should be planted about 30 centimetres apart to give you the best results. So an easy fix for this is for me to pull these plants out of this pot and just repot them so that uh, they're about 30 centimetres apart and that'll give them more space for the roots to grow, more uh, opportunity for them to get more nutrients uh, for each plant and will ultimately give me a better strawberry crop. Now the next thing is the age of the plants. Now strawberry plants really only produce well for two or three years. After that amount of time they really need to be replaced which is one of the reasons that they send out runners. Um, and we'll talk about runners and how you can propagate um, additional plants from runners in a separate video. But these plants are probably about four or five years old and so it's time for me to actually replace these plants. Um, but if I'm planning ahead I can actually do that by uh, propagating runners um, and or I can just buy new plants like I've done here. Um, you can just buy new plants but after a few years your plants actually won't produce very well if at all because they just get old and tired and that's one of the reasons why they're always sending out new runners to renew themselves. So old plants um, will uh, reduce the number of strawberries that you get and so you need to replace them. Now the next thing is pests and diseases and while we're on the subject of this particular uh, pot of strawberries if I just dig down a little bit here or open up the leaves a little bit here you can see down in there there's some mounds of soil being built up around the crown of the plant there. Now that tells me that I've got ants in here. Now the ants, are, ants love to make their homes in pot plants and that's exactly what they've done here. They've actually made a home in this in this pot and I can tell that because they're starting to build this um, uh, this little mound of uh, potting mix around these plants and it's around most of them as you can see in here. So I know I've got ants in here and uh, it's been raining overnight so the, the, the ants have gone away a little bit but on dry, dry days I can see that there are ants in here. So even if these plants weren't old I would actually need to pull them out of this pot, get rid of the um, potting mix that they're in um, which will also get rid of the ants and repot them into fresh potting mix. Um, and that will get rid of the ant problem and if I've got nice fresh plants or plants that are only a year or so old then they'll root in again and they'll start producing again. So fairly easy to get um, get rid of, fairly easy to, to uh, rectify um, but just keep an eye on particularly if you've got potted strawberries um, for any pests and um, other bugs and grubs that you might see around uh, because they can also inhibit the, uh, the number of strawberries that you get from your plants. Now the next reason is caused by the plant itself. Now a fundamental purpose for every type of plant is to reproduce itself. That's why flowers get seeds on them, uh, that's why fruit trees get fruit on them, that's why all plants um, get seeds and fruit and the likes on them is because their fundamental function is to reproduce themselves to, um, to continue the cycle of those plants throughout um, the history um, of, of that plant and to produce their uh, new plants and pro continue to propagate them over time. Now strawberries have two ways of doing that. The first way is to produce strawberries which have seeds on them. As you can see, all those little dents there have a little strawberry seed in them. The other way is to produce these, which are strawberry runners. Now, strawberry runners is the plant 
as you can see they run right the way back to the plant here that's the way the strawberry plants way of reproducing itself they send out runners and at the bottom of each of these little ones is some little roots as you can see there and that will turn into a new strawberry plant so that's one way that the strawberry plant can actually reproduce itself now if a plant strawberry plant is sending out runners it won't produce fruit because it's already got a way to reproduce itself by sending out runners so if you want to get fruit you need to get rid of the runners so unless you have old plants like these ones over here that you want to replace if you are not wanting to increase the number of straw strawberry plants that you have then you don't want the runners you don't need the runners and so what you need to do is just chop them back you just chop them off at the plant here i'm not going to chop these off because i want to produce some more plants but you just chop these run runners off right at the plant um, and that will stop them from um, producing these runners and it will force the plant to flower instead and that will produce the strawberries for you because without the flowers you won't get the strawberries so the the runners can actually um, inhibit the number of flowers you get or even stop the plant from flowering altogether so if you want your plant to flower and give you strawberries then you need to cut off the runners and last but not least fertilizer now as we said we want flowers to produce strawberries now if your plants are getting too much nitrogen fertilizer like this one see how it's for leafy greens um, so this is a nitrogen fertilizer if your plants are getting too much nitrogen fertilizer then they'll produce green growth leaves uh, and lots of leaves more and more leaves and not produce any flowers or very few flowers what all plants need to produce flowers is potassium this is a potassium based fertilizer and it's more about see how it says abundant flowers that's because the potassium uh, in the fertilizer uh, sort of forces the the plant or pushes the plant and encourages it to produce more flowers and the more flowers you get the more strawberries you're going to get so when you're fertilizing your strawberries be careful that you fertilize them with the right fertilizer don't give them too much nitrogen fertilizer make sure you give them plenty of potassium based fertilizer um, you can buy different um, types of fertilizer these are just a couple that I use or you can use natural fertilizers uh, like wood ash um, which is a great uh, fertilizer for um, for flowering plants uh, you can also buy separate potash uh, that you can use for that um, and as I've said in other videos too when you're planting strawberries check out our video there um, strawberries love coffee grounds as well they're great for them as well and helps them to to produce flowers too so there you go five things that can be uh, limiting the number of strawberries that you get on your strawberry plants but five very easy ways uh, to fix those issues so uh, spring and autumn are great times to be uh, doing that work for your strawberries um, so that in your uh, next season you get an abundant um, crop of strawberries thanks for joining us on Bex basics and we'll see you next time